you're having fun up there. This guy it. is... Looks like a good you've got going on, that's this, for sure. It's been frozen, like I said, for five levels. Oh my really god. Bad Damn. That's, uh, feels like that's when the jungler is supposed to go up and help <laughs> Yeah, it is! <laughs> that's why when she called Aatrox bot, I was like, he doesn't get out of this. <laughs> like, my man needs to call his jungler at this point. It's just sitting here. Hey guys, it's Weaver, and welcome to a new council class. Uh, this is a video that there. Okay, first of all, there's tons of things that people can do to learn about wave control. There are a million videos. Okay, um, however. One of the things that I really wanted to stress was uh, how effective this is. And I know a lot of people say, oh, I, have to, I understand wave control. I know how it works. Um, I felt I had to make a video, uh, especially for those in my community, where uh, it really shows you and, and not just, uh, oh, well, yeah, so-and-so won their lane off of, you know, freezing a lane. Now, I had a game previously where I froze a lane for, I believe it was about six minutes. You're going to see that clip in here as I'm explaining a couple things on how it works. You're going to see a demonstration on how to freeze a lane and uh, a few benefits to it. And, you know, if you get a lane frozen against you, what is kind of expected that you're going to do or what's need what needs to be done in order for you to, you know, get out of that freeze. Weird. I like, oh. Okay, now they can't walk up for free. Pretty sure. They're walking up. So you're going to see it's about this time that the Mordekaiser starts pushing in. I'm playing Shen, so Shen has obviously his shield, which allows him to take a little bit of damage while he's actually freezing the lane. Um, there's going to be a section where my jungler will die on the tower. The wave will hit, but will still remain with about three ranged minions here. And this is what's going to allow me to reestablish this freeze uh, once it gets broken. And that on top of the Mordekaiser pushing the wave once again. Uh, will allow me to extend this freeze from the, my current level to the level I believe I was seven or eight at the end of this clip. So it's around this point where you see me, I reestablish the freeze as he's trying to harass me under tower and shove this wave in. I'm um, doing my best to not allow it because he knows if he walks too close to the tower, I can either taunt flash back into the tower, um, forcing his flash or, you know, his death. Or um, I just harass him back and out-trade him due to the fact that Shen is very strong in the early levels uh, based off of his shield and his percentage health damage and his slow and his CC. Uh, I actually can negate Mordekaiser getting his passive before I just get back under tower safely. Now I'm going to quickly move forward through this clip. You're going to see me tabbing several times to check out the CS differential. And at the end of this, I actually have a 50 CS lead over him, um, as well as XP advantage. You'll also see that I'm sitting on quite a bit of gold. Now, this would not always happen, and this cannot always be the case. If there is an objective on the map, if I happen to have to teleport away, the freeze is going to get broken. If his jungler comes up, as you'll hear me state later on in the clip, uh, when I know his jungler is bot side, I am safe. I know they won't dive and kill me, and there's no reason for me to have to break the freeze. However, shortly after that, I will break the freeze because I do need to go back and purchase so that I am able to fight him as the game goes on. Now, I reached a point where I said... I can hear that their jungler is bot side, so I'm laughing because I know the state of the game. I know that this Mordekaiser won't be a factor later on. Um, being down 50 CS to, you know, Shen, whatever I need to do, leave the lane and be, you know, Shen while he's uh, not even a one item Mordekaiser. Okay, I have gold now. Sounds like you're having fun up there. I do this know, guy is. Looks like a good freeze you've got going on, that's for sure. It's been frozen, like I said, for five levels. Oh my really god. Bad Damn. That's, uh, feels like that's when the jungler is supposed to go up and help. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> that's why when she called Aatrox bot, I was like, he doesn't get out of this. <laughs> like, my man needs to call his jungler at this point. Now, as it was mentioned at the end of that last clip, you need to call your jungler if you're in a freeze. Now, um, one of the problems here is that in solo queue, it's a little tougher to do this because sometimes the jungler will take 
20 years and they'll say, all right, I'm going to do this camp. I'm going to do this camp and this camp and come up when they should just come directly to your lane to break the freeze. You're going to see here that the jungler does show up to the lane to support the Yasuo while he's trying to break the freeze on my tower. However, you're going to see when I freeze it, I freeze it towards my jungler on that side as well. He doesn't know my jungler's there. We spot their jungler. So when he does attempt to break the freeze, I am going to uh, force a fight here and my jungler's there to support me and we outplay, we get a kill and then I get the entire wave shoved into the tower after. This increases my level advantage over him as well as giving me basically the authority to do whatever I want in the lane. So make sure whenever you attempt to break a freeze that you know if the other jungler is there, you can take the 2v2. If you can't, you end up in a situation like this one. So I'm going to quickly show you how this is done in practice tool. You can set it up and do it over and over again until you get it down and you can use it in an actual game. Now, you're not always going to get to freeze the wave or start a push your way right from the start. However, there's going to be times when the opponent would like to recall. They'll end up shoving a wave. Maybe they think you've recalled. You can catch it and start your freeze there and it'll work the same way. You're going to see that all I'm going to do is last hit after I set this up and the wave will come to me. Now, this wave would most likely push faster um, because someone would actually be last hitting the minions on the other side. But you know if it works in practice tool with no one else last hitting on the other side, that it's going to be effective against an opponent who is going to be most likely auto attacking the minions. So one of the things you're going to end up doing is thinning out the wave better than I did currently. Um, you don't want to have a giant wave coming to you and have to catch it, especially in the earlier levels. If you don't have sustain, it makes it a little tougher to do. But Newer players will tend to die to the wave or if they're trying to hold a wave and someone isn't going to let you, you have to use your judgment on that and say, okay, well, this person has the capability of killing me. I can't just freeze the wave here. You're going to optimally be looking to freeze a wave in a lane where you have kill potential on the other person. However, if you don't have kill potential on them, but you're still able to hold a freeze that can deny them. So I'm always going to encourage you guys to use practice tool to practice things like this or other techniques that will better you for your future games. However, if you have any questions or you're looking for a fun and educational league community, check out the council. I stream three nights a week on Twitch, link in the description below. Thank you for choosing us to be the positive to their negative. And remember in the council of the universe masters, the power is yours. I'll see you in the next video. Kane. Oh, I'm not with you, I'm gone, I'm gone. Yep. Got you. Okay, flash that. That guy's dead, see you later. I die. Yeah, you do. Oh. God dang it. Uh, cane. Oh, this guy flashed and cleansed. I'm going to get the cane. <laughs> I am 100% going to get this cane. There's two wards in that bush back. <laughs> get oh out of here. Get out of here. Give me this blue buff. <laughs> this blue one.